but I didn't even do half of the things in the Alchet. I haven't taken any bribes. Forbidden trysts? <laughs> yeah, right. Not ever, and certainly not during a pandemic. Yet, I'm supposed to confess to these misdeeds anyway? And then, after falsely confessing, I'm supposed to confess to the sin of empty confession? It's no wonder Franz Kafka was a Jew. Many of you likely have the same reaction, yet there must be some explanation for the persistence of the Alchet in our liturgy since at least the ninth century. As a scholar of privacy law, I was immediately struck by the contrast between the Alchet and Roman Catholic confession, which occurs in a darkened cabinet. It turns out the confession in the Catholic Church was originally done in public, but by the 12th century, the Church began its shift toward private individual confessions of sin, in part to deal with the problem of parishioner eavesdropping. Compared to the privacy-preserving Catholic approach, public confession in front of families and neighbors seems humiliating in a way that will undermine introspection and candor. But there's an ingeniousness built into the Alchet. We are each directed to confess our sins out loud, even though we haven't committed many of them. The confessor knows which statements are true, but everyone else remains in the dark. The overbroad Alchet promotes conscience clearing in public by introducing statistical noise. The best cinematic portrayal of this phenomenon occurs in the 1960 Kirk Douglas classic, Spartacus. In the movie's climax, the Romans have captured Spartacus and dozens of his fellow rebels. The Romans pledge to spare the lives of all the rebels so long as the rebels identify Spartacus, their leader, who is to be crucified. Kirk Douglas's Spartacus rises to his feet, and just as he's about to announce his, his identity, his friend Antonius yells out, I'm Spartacus. And then another rebel yells, I'm Spartacus. And before long, the entire group of rebels are screaming, I'm Spartacus, at the top of their lungs, while Kirk Douglas's Spartacus looks on in stunned silence. Kirk Douglas died earlier this year at the age of 103. And in a storied movie career, the scene he's best known for is one in which he says not a word. The Alchet lets us each broadcast what needs to be said all at once. Upon reflection, communal confession seems to make a lot more sense than having us take turns confessing our sins individually to Rabbi David so that he can grant us absolution. But the lesson of Spartacus is that if you search your memories and cannot recall an instance this year of scorning parents and teachers or of defrauding others, reciting those confessions out loud remains a sincere act. It's a true and empathic expression of solidarity that lets us all be imperfect in a dignified way.